Ten years ago, the lives of two brothers changed forever. JP and Paul Norden each lost a leg in the bombings at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. But in the decades since, they've gained, they say they've gained so much more than they lost. Jeff Samperstone introduces us. How did that day change you, you think, JP? It changed me physically, obviously, but in a lot of ways, it, it changed me for the better. It's that positive outlook that keeps JP Norton going 10 years later. I don't ever think about the bombing, ever. My day is my day. I get up, I put my leg on, and I do what I gotta do just like everybody else. Determination, strength, however you wanna define it, JP and his brother Paul have both, and then some. Despite each losing a leg a decade ago and going through dozens of surgeries, the Nordens haven't focused on themselves. They've put much of their energy into helping others. I always say for a day that changed my family's life forever is now the backbone to how I'm able to pay forward the kindness. So it's really, uh, you know, for a bad day, it's really a good day now. The family started the foundation A Leg Forever. So far, they've helped 60 people who've lost limbs, pay for prosthetics, wheelchairs, and bedside care. The names and faces of some of those people are featured right on their website. JP says his family is now able to do for others what so many did for them. Now we get to help a lot of people with our charity and I just feel like, uh, I feel like a better person. Much of his inspiration came from a visit to Walter Reed Hospital with his doctor. He wanted me to see what it was like. The trip was just a few months after the bombings in 2013, when JP was still mostly using a wheelchair. It was definitely a day that changed my life for sure. Ever since, JP knew he needed to walk again, pushing forward one step at a time. I can control how soft I want the toe to be, how soft I want the heel to be. Technology has helped too. His new prosthetic is now controlled by Bluetooth, a dramatic improvement over the last 10 years. The first one I walked on, I mean, it literally looked like something a pirate would wear, you know? And now I have this one where the ankle bends and you can use an app on your phone to change the settings, etc. So it's cool to see where it's going. We're back to everyday life. Yeah, which is a good feeling. It sure is. You look at them both today, your boys, what do you see? You know, nothing stops them. It literally, I'm in awe all the time. I just, because I'm still angry and, you know, I get sad sometimes for them. Nothing holds them back. They have been, they've really done so wonderful. Wow. Yeah. And the technology. Unreal. Incredible. That was Jeff Saperstone reporting. By the way, the 127th Boston Marathon is this coming Monday. There are 10 people running for the Norton Foundation's marathon team this year.